Does everyone have their 30 bucks? Isn't that amazing? Can awesome. We... Enjoy. Did you get the wordle? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Wow, these glasses really do make it 3D. Crossing three countries, they fly 2,000 miles to a special winter home. This flight of the butterflies is one of nature's greatest migrations. This is amazing. It's like they're coming right at me. Oh my God. Oh my God, you guys. Woo. I want to cry right now. It's beautiful. <laughs> we start the story early in the year when butterflies arrive here in the Texas Hill Country. Yeah, there you go. It's one stage in a year long cycle that will take at least three generations. Each generation must survive through egg, caterpillar, chrysalis, and adult butterfly. This female has found a plant called milkweed. Most varieties contain some level of poison, but it's the only plant monarchs lay their eggs on. Oh, wow. Yeah. Inside this egg is a hungry caterpillar. After hatching, it snacks on its egg casing. Mm. Then <laughs> milkweed is all it ever eats. Aww. Yeah, that's it. I gotta get new different types. Less than one percent of eggs and caterpillars will survive to become adult butterflies. Yeah, I didn't know that. I'm going to have to get some milkweed. This oh, yeah. is one of the lucky ones. Look at that. We will call her Dana, from her Latin name, Danaeus Plexippus. Now that she is a butterfly, new challenges lie ahead. She must mate and search out fresh milkweed for her eggs. Wow. Dana and her fellow survivors must fly following the spring bloom. The southern monarchs surge north, laying eggs as they go. Up to three generations over six months can swell monarch numbers to as many as half a billion. Dana is flying northeast from Texas. I can see Russia from my house. On the way, she lays <laughs> eggs on milkweed, bordering fields. 
As farms get bigger, these borders disappear, and with them, the monarch's nurseries. Yeah, I think so. But Dana escapes and lives on until all her 300 or so eggs are laid. Wow, what a job. <laughs> oh my God. This is now Dana's daughter. Like the generation before, she feeds on milkweed and then becomes a butterfly. How? Can you tell us how that happened? Amongst the flowers, she also finds a mate. Together, they will create the next generation of monarchs. Dana's daughter must fly on until she finds milkweed. In a new Toronto suburb, she zeroes in on a garden. It's been planted especially to attract and feed butterflies. Beautiful. Isn't it? I know what I'm doing when I get home. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm germinating milkweed. Are you? I'm trying to. I'll see what happens when I get home. Nice. She will now lay her eggs. Eggs with a truly remarkable destiny. Emerging from this egg is Dana's granddaughter. Hatching in the butterfly garden, she is the third generation since the Texas Meadows. Each wow. of these monarchs is part of a super generation, destined for a spectacular journey. Wow. In two weeks, she will be 2,000 times larger. That's scary. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cry, Robert. Dan's granddaughter finds a safe place for her next stage. Oh, look at that. Like all monarch thing. caterpillars, she has cells that can develop into an adult butterfly. In the next 15 hours, her final caterpillar skin splits, and beneath, a new skin hardens into a chrysalis. Ouch. Inside, specialized cells nourish new tissue growth. Fed oxygen by hundreds of fine breathing tubes, her brain, heart, and digestive tract change shape and size God. new powerful flight muscles develop and compound eyes form long legs and sturdy wings complete the transformation in two weeks dana's granddaughter has remodeled herself into a butterfly wow. but she will be different a super butterfly, destined to live eight times longer and fly much farther than her mother and grandmother. Why is that? that? Covered with over a million scales, these wings will take her on a flight to a secret winter home. The days are shorter and colder. She senses these signals. It's time to fly south. Aww. After negotiating city skyscrapers, the next obstacle for Dana's granddaughter is the wide open water of the Great Lakes. There will be many more challenges on her epic journey to a place she has never known.
To make her extra long journey, Dana's granddaughter builds up fat and conserves her energy. She will not mate and she will catch free rides on the winds, sometimes flying a mile high. Wow, look at that. Ah! Monarchs are beautifully evolved That's navigators. Incredible. Yeah. Their DNA reveals clues about their exceptional ability to migrate so accurately. The multi-purpose antennae constantly track time and the position of the sun. They feed a stream of signals to her brain. Tiny hairs on her head gauge the wind. Her super sensitive eyes see light waves and colors far beyond ours. Oh my gosh, you guys. As the sun yeah. moves across the sky, and she keeps time, like an insect GPS, she fine-tunes her flight path. She, she smells with her antennae, forward. and she tastes with her feet, detecting the nectar she needs each night to refuel. These adaptations, and some we have yet to discover, make the monarch a master of migration. Every autumn, the super butterflies head south in the millions. Dana's granddaughter is flying from the Great Lakes to Mexico. Her target is a few forested peaks amongst thousands. When she arrives, this tiny creature will have completed one of the longest migrations on Earth. This is the mountainside that offered sanctuary to her great-grandmother exactly one year before. It is the perfect place. Far enough south for the sun's warmth, yet at 10,000 feet it's cool in the evergreen forest with just the right amount of moisture. Look at that. Wow. Oh my gosh. Dana's granddaughter will slow down, clustering for warmth and protection. Oh my God. And living off her fat reserves until spring. Oh my God, can't believe it. It's just hard to believe. I know. I know. <laughs> I can't believe it. Yet even here, Dana's granddaughter will face challenges. Many of the trees have been cut down. And as the climate changes, the combination of cold and wet storms kills millions. But for the survivors, it is a winter sanctuary. Those who survive the winter drink in the spring warmth. Amongst the mating females is Dana's granddaughter. Now it's time for her to make a final flight. Oh my god. Look at that. It's just a Oh my god. <laughs> Catching the winds north, she will make her way to Texas. Where, just like her great grandmother, she will lay eggs on the spring milkweed. And as it has for thousands of years, the monarch's remarkable annual cycle will begin again. Did you film it? Yeah. Is 
problem though, maybe 